Drop lists are extremely useful in Excel. They allow you to create dynamic reports and dynamic dashboards. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to create two drop lists in one single cell. So if I have a list of employees and a list of managers, I created two drop lists in cell B1. If I click on the down arrow, then I can see a list of employees and I can select any one. I can change my selection. But if I click on the down arrow and I select the first option, Managers, the contents of the drop list will change. I selected Managers. I do have conditional formatting. When I click on the down arrow, the contents of the drop list changed. So let's see how I built this project from ground up in Excel. I start my project by creating two named ranges. I select the manager names in column D, and then I hit the shortcut Control Shift F3 to create names from selection. Top row is checked, I hit OK. I will do the same for the employees. I select the employees, I hit Control Shift F3, top row is checked, and I hit OK. If I check, I go to the down arrow of the name box. If I select all employees, Excel recognizes all the list of employees and the same for managers. Now in preparation for creating my data validation drop list, where I want to switch from one list to the other in the same cell, I'll be creating a simple if function to explain the concept. I don't need to create it in the worksheet, but the thing is it's easier to understand it if I create it in the worksheet. I'll be typing equal if, and then I hit tab. And I want to say, if cell B1 reads the text managers, so I click on cell B1, and I say, if it is equal in double quotation to managers, and I close the double quotation. Note that my first option under all employees is managers. So in case I select this option from the first drop list, I want to switch to the named range manager. Then I type comma and I hit F3 to select the named range managers. I hit OK and then I type a comma to move to the last argument of the if function. If B1 doesn't equal managers, then I want all employees. I hit F3, the paste name dialog box opens. I select all employees and I hit OK. I close the bracket and I would have created my function. I'm going to copy it from the formula bar, Control C, and then I hit Escape. Now I can start creating my data validation drop list. I select cell B1. I hit the shortcut Alt D L, Tab L Tab, to open the data validation dialog box, and I'll be pasting my function. I hit OK, and now let's enjoy. Because there is nothing in cell B1. Then I will get all the list of employees. When I click on the down arrow, I get all the list of employees. I can select any one. I can switch to another employee. However, if I want to switch to the other list, then I have to select the first option, managers. So if I select managers and I do have conditional formatting applied, now the contents of the list change and it shows the list of managers. At any time you want to switch back to all employees, all what you need to do is to delete the contents of cell B1 and I'm back to all employees. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.